these panels at the side because you can unzip them and then mesh not plastic like the front because you've got two mesh panels open these either side and you can feel that and it really lets the air pass through so it keeps the van nice and cool as well it's really well presented and it's a beautiful family van it's five traveling four sleeping 41,000 miles it's on a two litre engine with 101 horsepower which is more than enough to get you around from a to b all the way to e f and g if you want to mm -hmm. and um it's practicality with a volkswagen you can use it for a day out with a picnic and friends and family or you can go around and tour europe for as long as you want to and it's gorgeous it's available to view it's here on site at donny mott leisure kingdom showground in hilton if you'd like any more information or if you feel like there's any questions you'd like answering regarding accessories please feel free to give us a call because we do have the accessory shop available open seven days a week as well thanks for your time i've been mark see you soon morning everybody it's mark from donny mott leisure kingdom thank you for joining me again today here at the showground on another glorious day i have for you a 2016 volkswagen t6 with an eco design conversion so it's a five traveler four sleeper it's on a highline base vehicle so it's got rear parking sensors front fog lights automatic headlights rain sensing wipers and very very nice Volkswagen alloy wheels presented in this beautiful metallic silver it's got a few little optional extras on so you can see you've got the wind deflectors in the driver and passenger window privacy glass isn't an opener in the kitchen on this one but that's not a problem because you've got the mesh panels on the roof so you unclip those from the inside and it keeps the vehicle nice and cool but I'll show you more about the inside in a few minutes so we've got electric hookup point tailgate which is always nice because this provides quite a lot of shelter and you've also got your privacy glass on the back window and you've got your blackout curtains as well so it keeps it nice and private inside there's lots and lots of storage so you've got this nice little storage cupboard and you've got all your uh, leisure battery systems and everything in there so all your wiring uh, we are going to be moving the gas bottle from a freestanding unit into a solid locked gas locker that's part of the thing that we do at donna marks we like to make sure the vehicles are nice and safe and secure for the new owners and it's got a rib bed so this section will fold up as so so you can have a really big boot if you need it or like i had it presented you can fold it down you've got access to the storage underneath the seat lots and lots of room to house a porta potty and then because it makes part of the bed makeup you fold that back down again and if you want to you can use it as a storage shelf and two separate boot spaces so that's the back end of the vehicle and there's your tailgate so round to this side and you've got your slide door entry and then you'll see you've got obviously the rib bed so nice nice and easy to use this section just rolls over the middle drops down and it makes one of the double beds and you've got two traveling seat belts and obviously you've got the little hatch doors there into the storage lockers underneath the bed as well so underneath your hob unit at the minute we've got the table here that runs on this rail so that can move backwards and forwards quite easily see and then in there you've got your water container so that is a direct feed cold water only to the tap nice and easy to get to and then as i said we are going to be moving the gas bottle and putting that into an independent safe locker uh, so it will be nice and safe for the next owner and then you've got this nice storage drawer here and you've got this little storage unit at the side behind the driver's seat as well it's always nice having a bit more space behind the driver's seat actually because it means if you're like me and you're a bit taller and a bit bigger you have a lot more room to move the driver's seat around so you get a comfortable driving position you'll also see that it comes with a 12 volt compatible television as well so that's staying in um so underneath there on the glass cases we've got the sink and the hob and then over in the corner you can see you've got the control for the webasto diesel heater and then there's your chiller unit and it's nice and compact really really well presented just above the control for the diesel heating system you can see there you've got your presented glasses two 240 pin sockets usbs power on off switch and then you've got your battery battery level checker you've also got additional 240 sockets with usb just on the panel next to the bed so that's always going to be a plus when you're owning a volkswagen because power sockets aren't really a common thing in these and this one's got loads of them your passenger seat swivels so that turns around and makes a real nice driving area and then you've got also 
the storage space underneath here for like wheel jacks, braces, toolkits, that sort of thing. So that's always handy. That section will flip, it flip up no matter if the chair is facing forwards or backwards. Onto the cab. So in here we've got your storm straps that fasten the roof down when you are travelling. USB, stop start and then you've got air conditioning and then you've got this nice multi multimedia center so it's got cd usb capability and you can also put an sd card in there if you want to uh, dab and fm radio cruise control on the back of the steering wheel a nice leather steering wheel and then you've also got the controls on there for the bluetooth and you can see on the dash just over 41 thousand miles 41,119. that may change due to test drives so up into the bed so the space up there for two people we do recommend that that's only used for um children or young adults obviously you want to watch what you're putting up there as a weight and then if you give that a push up if i hold that for you end it won't go all the way there we go so there we go so it's a slightly different folding on this roof so what it does because you've got the two hinges instead of with the camper king conversions where they pivot up from one point at the back this folds in two sections and it's held up by these um air rams so there's lots and lots of standing room so i can stand up all of the way at the back or at the front and you've got that little storage cupboard at the top as well but the nice thing is this time of year